going on guys we're going to back test my simple 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 futures trading strategy for the nasdaq 100 now i run a little bit of a negative risk to reward because i'm looking for a higher win rate percentage i'm looking for one or two winning trades either solo or back to back so if we hit one winning trade depending on your position side maybe uh stop trading on the day but if we hit two winning trades back to back, I'm looking to wrap it up on the day. Now, again, the only time I'm really looking to take three, four or five trades is if I start sizing down on my contract size. And then that way I'm protecting the upside that I've already made. What we're going to need is a five minute time frame. We're going to need the NQ chart. We're going to need a 20 period moving average. So 20 simple moving average. That is it. We're going to wait for the start of a potential change in trend. When that change in trend happens, we want to be in on the confirmation. We want to take a quick scalp. Right now, in this current market environment, what's working for me more than not is a five-point take profit on the five-minute time frame. So five-minute time frame, I'm using a five-point take profit. I'm running a stop loss between 15 or 20 points depending on the average true range. So if the average true range is a little bit bigger, let's say over 25, 30 points on a five minute candle, I'm gonna be pushing that stop loss closer to 20 points. If it's somewhere sub 25 points, 20 points, I'm gonna be using a 15 point take profit. First trade setup of the day happens at 10.35 EST. You can see this big 57 point range candle closes below the 20 SMA. 1040 candle opens up starts to pop a little bit stays underneath the 20 sma and then confirms the previous candle that closed below the 20 sma which i call the reason why candle so again you can see here my reason why for taking this trade uh that candle is at 1035 the 1040 candle opens up pops a little bit then confirms the bottom of the reason why wick i'm always using the bottom wick or the top wick depending on if i'm long or short and then we're getting in on this trade. One mini contract, $100 there. Second trade happens at 11.50 in the morning. We get a nice little bounce back into the 20 period moving average. We're still well below the low of day, the overnight session highs. You can see here at 11.55, we confirm our reason why. That entry should be taken at 204.49 and a half, and it shoots up to 204.65. So with that being said, another five points here now this qualifies for a two and done day we won the first trade we won the second trade if we were playing one mini contract that's 200 dollars logged in the bank we come back we do it again tomorrow this system is not to make a thousand dollars a day it's not to make twenty thousand dollars a day it's to go out there grab a couple of trades make a hundred make 200 make 300 dollars a day and then wrap it up now, where this can be beneficial is when you start to scale it across two, three, or funded accounts, where now that $100 day becomes a $200 day, where the $200 day becomes a four or even $600 day. With that being said, we're looking to just continue to be consistent, continue to grow that equity curve, and take payouts from the prop firms. Again, if you do run into a losing trade, let's say, for example, the first trade is a loser, you still can take that second trade. If that second trade is a winner, we still can con con continue to trade until we take two losers back to back. Now, if we take two losers back to back, we've automatically got to stop trading on the day. If you're not comfortable with a 20 point stop loss, use a 15 point. If you're not comfortable with a 15 point stop loss, you can definitely use a 10 point stop loss. Just understand that your win rate percentage is gonna drastically go down from something that hits around 78 to 82% of the time is probably going to drop down closer to 70%, maybe even 67%. Again, you've got to do your own testing. You've got to also create your own data. Depending on the time of day that you're trading is going to vary your stats. Your stats might be a little different than mine. My trade window is between market open and around lunchtime. That's when I do the bulk and the majority of my work. Anything outside of that, I'm just looking to play evaluation accounts. I'm looking to pass more funded accounts. I'm looking just to, you know, kind of piece together and add a little bit to an already existing green day if I have one. If I can't generate any money going into lunchtime, more than likely I'm done.
Okay, nine times out of 10, I'm done trading. I'll just wait for tomorrow and we'll keep it going from there. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to try this strategy out on a prop firm where you can do some testing and you want a fresh account for that, Apex right now has 80% off with $85 activation fees. That link is down in the description box below. If you guys are looking to join Evolution Traders, get one-on-one -on -one coaching, access to the community and all the private lessons that are not on YouTube, that link is also down in the description box below. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video.